how do you lower the total dissolved solid level of your swimming pool water? Well, the primary way that you would go about doing that would be to partially drain and refill your pool with fresh water that has a lower total dissolved solid level. You could also look at mobile trucks that offer reverse osmosis service because this can also lower the total dissolved solid level in your pool. But that would be a service that would be more common in areas that have water restrictions because it would probably be fairly cost prohibitive to be doing that. Most pool owners will find it more cost effective to partially drain and refill. It is important to understand that you can't just drain a swimming pool anytime you want. There are problems that you can cause as a result of draining your pool, depending on what kind of pool you have, how much you drain it, and what the current conditions are. For example, the groundwater table around your pool. Fiberglass pools and concrete pools both need to be hydrostatically balanced in the ground, and as a result, you should never remove water from them during a time of year when there is a high chance that there is a high groundwater table surrounding your pool because it can exert an upwards force on your pool that will lift your swimming pool out of the ground, in effect breaking it. With a vinyl liner pool, the concern is not for lifting the pool. The concern is for damage to the liner or causing the liner to shift, in which will cause it to wrinkle, and then the wrinkles won't go away, and you'll be left with unsightly wrinkles in your pool. So with a vinyl liner pool, you would never want to drain the water any lower than about 6 inches to 1 foot of water standing on the floor of the shallow end of the pool. That's enough that the liner should be protected. Similar to the concrete and fiberglass pools, however, you wouldn't want to do that at a time of year when predictably there is high water tables around your swimming pool, like from snow melt or heavy rains in the spring, because there is a much higher likelihood that you could have a problem with groundwater traveling underneath of your liner, lifting it and causing it to fold over onto itself, leaving a wrinkle. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.